Have you ever had the idea for a musical invention, a tool of some sort that you could really use, but it's not out there? Well, I have, and I finally decided to do something about it. And what I thought was going to take a week, two weeks, three weeks, has turned into about two years now. And what at first was a kind of fun little idea or project has turned into an obsession. Almost like I'm Captain Ahab chasing Moby Dick. And even creating a video about this has proven to be quite the task. So much that I'm having to break it up into multiple parts because I want to outline all the steps of this wild journey I've been on. And so for the past year, I've been documenting the steps I've taken along this journey to create this little project I have. First, it started out with a need for something for my iPad for my charts. But then I also needed a little mixer for my in-ear monitor mix. And maybe I'll throw in a click track and then all of a sudden, boom, it just took on a life of its own. So I wanna take you on this journey this week, multiple parts here. So buckle up for the first part of this ride. It gets really interesting and I'm really excited to see what you guys think about this. Enjoy. The first and most important and probably most challenging piece of this puzzle was the case itself. Now, if you recall, I started off using this guitar pedal tote for my case. I actually have a video of this and I'm embarrassed to link this because it looks so primitive with everything I was using. This is actually an old school gator pedal tote. Inside, there's a Behringer sub mixer, an old iPhone, my in-ear monitors, and a power strip with a few blocks for my iPad and my iPhones. My goal with my case was to have three things. Have my iPad for charts there, have my sub mixer so I could control volume of my monitor mix, but also blend in my click track with it. So I have a metronome here, iPad here, and mixer right there. So as you can see right here, this setup by itself, there's just not a lot of space and I would have to make things in a kind of a weird setup that doesn't make sense. But my whole MO was like, all right, I don't want to spend money. I'm going to try and do this as cheaply as possible. So I kind of muscled it out with this setup for a little while. And I would have to cram all sorts of cables in here. It was just an ugly sight. I'll take this pedal board, which is frankly disgusting right now. So but my next step was maybe I should do something so I can get my charts a little bit closer to me. So I got this clamp right here and I used this for a little while. And what I would do was I would clamp this to my hi-hat stands so I could just swipe through them. I also see, and I'll even let you see as I'm playing, if I zoom in, there's an intro. I'm like, oh. And it was effective, but it took a few minutes to set up. When I have a changeover of 10 to 15 minutes or less, I need to be as quick as possible. So that really wasn't an option. And then also you can see like this is just, it's soft. And so I can't drop this out of the back of a truck. I can't stack this on top of a dolly with my other gear if I'm like going to another gig. So this was kind of out. So my next step was I went to Harbor Freight and got this, an Apache case. And this is kind of, for lack of better terms, a knockoff Pelican case. Hard, stackable, um, a little bit more robust. And you can see, if I put my iPad here, and then I can put my little mixer here, and then oh, I can put my metronome, but you can see still, it doesn't really fit in a way that is conducive to me just setting this beside my drum set. So I just have to accept that I'm going to have to buy some new pieces of gear. I'm gonna have to spend some money, maybe lose some money on some things, but this is a big project and this is something that I really wanna go with. So at that point, I thought maybe I'll start buying some other pieces. And the first thing to go was this Behringer. A couple of reasons why, A, it's huge, B, I've gone through about two, three power adapters with this. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna try out a few compact, smaller mixers and I'm gonna try and fit it all into this little Apache case. 
And that was a big moment for me, just kind of saying, all right, I'm just gonna go down this route and I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to accept spending a little bit more money than I planned on, spending a little bit more time, but doing this right. Just sticking with this case was a huge moment for me. So if you're curious what I put in this case, this is where the real fun starts. So watch the next video for me to talk about all the toys I got to play with.